When I go, I throw myself around the corner, lock in immediately, start walking my feet, capture my side control. Guys, I'm here with Cobb, aka the Arm Collector, aka Brogan Anderson at uh, City Kickboxing. I'm away at the moment, so I've got special guest Brogan. He's going to show us uh, a few defenses we can use against the guillotine. So, over to you, Cobb. Right, yeah. So we're going to work from the front headlock position, and I think we're going to do a couple of videos here. So I'm going to start off with the two, uh, the two escapes that I'll use here, uh, and then in part two we'll put these two together. Uh, where I'll create like a trap that I set from the front headlock where my, gu where my guy's going to attack uh, the guillotine and I'm going to use it to achieve a dominant position in the ensuing scramble. But for a start, what we're going to talk about is my guy here, he's on a front headlock position, maybe chin and tricep. Yeah. If I was defending the hands, I might be able to keep him at bay, but if I want to actually start wrestling and work my way back to my feet, at some point I'll probably have to put my hands on the ground. If my guy is inclined to go for the guillotine, I'm gonna I'm gonna be aware of this straight away, and I'm gonna have a couple of techniques uh, prepared. So let's say he he grabs his lock for the guillotine. I feel him shift his shoulder out to the right a little bit, maybe to punch his arm a little bit deeper, and he starts trying to lift his grip high. Straight away, I'm gonna react. As soon as I feel him shifting his weight and putting this arm deep, I'm gonna put my outside foot up, and then from this position, I'm just gonna use the outside hand to pass his arm by. Just like a sucker drag, I'm not going to use the secondary arm to arm drag through. I don't think I need to in this scenario where he's committed his arm completely around my neck. So as soon as I feel him go, I'm going to put that foot up. I'm going to grab onto the tricep with the elbow and I'm going to spin myself around the corner. I'm going to duck my head and bring my head to the center of his chest. As I bring this knee to the floor, I'm going to spin my hips around and come to the back. Yeah. So in real time, that would look a little bit more like here. Ben punches for the neck, and I'm straight around the corner. That's the first one, I think that's definitely well worth having. Uh, as you can see, that's that's getting from me from a, a bad position in the front headlock uh, straight to the turtle. Um, but I have to have a secondary escape as well, uh, and that's when Ben gets to his lock, and maybe I just can't quite get out with the sucker drag, maybe he's already got the elbow up and over my back. Ben's going to sit through uh, with his knee across my centre line and throw the foot over the back. So let's say we're here, he sits through. I'm in big, big trouble from this position if I don't go quickly. If Ben has a good position, he could choke me almost immediately from this position. So from here, I'm going to tripod up, put my head on the ground. I'm going to use this hand here to clear his foot off my hip. And then I'm going to post this close side knee. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look to bring this hip to the floor over here. So I'm going to base on my head and I'm gonna drop myself uh, past 90 degrees, about 135 degrees around the corner. To that position, my guy's gonna hold on to the neck because uh, he doesn't wanna let go of a position he thinks he has a pretty good bite on. From here, I'm immediately looking to spin myself over and look into him. And from this position, it should be hard for him to, to come up onto the front. He like, see, I'm still checking this leg here. And then from this position, I'm just gonna walk my feet around and take the top position. And if my guy was greedy and held on, I'll convert to a Von Flu. Most likely my guy is gonna realize his guillotine is lost and I establish my side control. I'll just do that from the other side one more time. My guy's here from the front here, like he goes and he dives pretty aggressively. I put my shoulder forward, weight on him, push the foot off the hip so that he cannot maintain a connection to me as I roll. I push it off. When I go, I throw myself around the corner, lock in immediately. Start walking my feet, capture my side control, and that's me out of trouble from a very dangerous position. Stay tuned for part two. Like and subscribe for more videos, guys. See you in the next one.